Hey there guys, I'm here with another prediction game slash detail prediction video for Money in the Bank and this time it's for the rematch between John Cena and Kevin Owens, champion versus champion once again. So first time Kevin Owens wins, second time who's going to win this time, I say John Cena wins this time so it's going to be one on one and I'm thinking there's going to be a third match at, I don't know, either at Battleground or at SummerSlam. I would think SummerSlam maybe would be more appropriate for the third match. So maybe at Battleground it's a tag team match or I don't know, something. But uh, if they're going to have a third match, I would say it happens at SummerSlam, but who knows. That's not the point of this video. So, why do I think John Cena's going to win here? Um, John Cena lost the first one and that came as a surprise. I didn't think he was going to lose against Kevin Owens. I thought Kevin Owens was going to put a strong performance and look strong in the match, but at the end lose. So him winning was a pretty nice surprise, so I was happy about that. And right when I saw that they were going to have a rematch, because they announced it the same night at the Elimination Chamber that it was going to be this match at Money in the Bank, I was like, all right, Cena's getting his win back. And I still feel that way. I don't see Cena losing a second time in a row to Kevin Owens. Because the first time Kevin Owens beat him clean, that was already a big, you know, shocker, big surprise. And if we look at the last time John Cena lost clean to somebody in a one-on-one -on -one match, you know, before Kevin Owens, it was Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam 2014 when he beat him for the title. And even Brock Lesnar, as dominant as Brock Lesnar was in that match, you know, he suplexed John Cena, I don't know how many times, like over 15 times, and, you know, just, it was the, the most one-sided WWE Championship match between two many inventors, like, ever. Um, after that match, when they had the rematch at Night of Champions, John Cena didn't lose. John Cena didn't win. I mean, he didn't lose. <laughs> he didn't win the title, but he also didn't lose the match. He actually won the match by disqualification. Um, and then they had a third match, which was a triple threat, and John Cena didn't win uh, there either, but he also didn't lose. He didn't get pinned. So, if the last person to, you know, dominate John Cena and retain the title against him or all of that was Brock Lesnar, and even Brock couldn't beat John Cena twice in a row, I don't think Kevin Owens is going to be that person to beat John Cena two times in a row clean. Now, as far as Kevin Owens beating him unclean, so like by, I don't know, by low-blowing him behind the referee's back or something like that, or hitting him with a weapon, um, that could happen. That's certainly more likely than him beating John Cena clean a second time. So if he is going to beat John Cena a second time, I think it's not going to be clean. But I just don't think Cena's going to lose this one because I think they're probably going to have a third match. And so it'd be perfect for Kevin Owens to win the first one. Kevin, uh, Kevin Owens loses the second one, so it's one-on-one. -on -one. And then there's the tiebreaker in that third match. Now, Kevin Owens doesn't necessarily need to get pinned here. He could still lose but lose by disqualification and countouts. Now, I prefer, you know, pins and submissions, but I could see Kevin Owens maybe getting himself disqualified to prevent Cena from, you know, pinning him. Um, but at the end of the day, whether it's disqualification, countout, or pinfall, I say John Cena wins this match. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, as always, you can click that like button down below, and I'm out. See you guys.